Hi, and welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel, and episode 7 in the series all about my little boxes. This time round, the little box is this one here, and this is a 4046 VCO. It's one of my favourite uh, little modules, the 4046 VCO. It, uh, it has a nice sound and, and is easily controllable and is a very simple circuit. I'll show you more on that in a moment. I like it so much I've actually got three of them in my Project 12 modular synth. And I can get some really fat kind of uh, almost power chords when I detune one against the other. So it's great kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's a good module for, for drone synthing. The circuit design is, um, well I've based mine on the uh, modular in a week 4046 VCO which in turn is based on the uh, um, Hackaday uh, Logic Noise 4046 VCO. I'll put a link to the uh, modular in a week one in the description. Um, I've not used exactly the same schematic as that one. Um, this is the schematic. And as you can see, it's a very, very simple circuit. Um, the op amp there provides um, kind of a conditioned input. And it also, the other side of the op amp buffers the output. And then there's what? Two external components for the uh, VCO or something like that, not many. Um, so very simple circuit. I put it on a, a strip board layout and the layout for that is here. Um, on this strip board layout I actually use a, a PCB mount uh, potentiometer so the, the pot it's shown as having wires on this diagram but it's actually soldered directly onto the board which has the advantage of using the pot to actually mount the circuit board on whatever panel that you want to put it on. So talking about the circuits and what's there, um, let's come over to the bench and we'll have a look at what's inside the box, how I put it together, and then we'll have a listen to what it can do. Okay, this is the, uh, the unit itself now, in a little bit more close up. Um, go through the controls on the top here. The knob on the left is, I don't know really how clear you can see this on this uh, this top here, but I've actually engraved some letters to uh, label what each thing does. This one's labelled F and the knob basically controls the frequency. Um, P is for power and there's an on-off switch with a a little LED there. The socket at the top is the audio out and there's two sockets on the front. This one is labelled C, that stands for a CV input which goes to the um, CV input on the 4046 chip. This one is M. Um, I've put in M sort of kind of modulation although madness, mayhem and, and one or two other words beginning with M might be appropriate. It kind of messes with the output of the uh, 4046 by kind of superimposing some modulation on it. It gives crazy, almost sound effect sounds. Um, we'll hear some of those when, when we uh, spark it up and, and plug it in. Um, so that's very simple controls on the top. So what does it look like inside? Well, first things first, like most, if not all, no, most of my little boxes, it all runs from a single 9 volt battery. Spin it round, and we can see the, the circuits. Um, as I said, the uh, circuit board actually uses the potentiometer. To, to mount it in the box and the circuit difficult to see because it's mounted sideways on but it's a very simple circuit um, the 4046 chip and an LM358 um, op amp providing uh, 
conditioned input and buffered output and then basically it's just wired up to the uh, to the three sockets and and the power out you've seen the schematic you've seen the um, strip board layout so you can see from those diagrams a little more detail as to what it looks like very very simple but what does simple sound like? Let's have a listen to the 4046 VCO little box. So the output is just plugged into um, the sound in on, on the computer. So no processing. So this is just what the oscillator sounds like. So quite a good range of frequencies going on there. Right, CV input. What can we plug into the CV input? Well, I've I've got a basic sequence running on on the beat step. So if we plug that into the CV. Of course, it's it's not following the one volt per octave standard. It's uh, purely linear, so um, you know don't expect to plug a keyboard in and start playing along to your favourite disco track or whatever. But there you go. The, the CV and I, you can you can. I've got a sequence running there, but you could also you could modulate it with uh, um, an LFO or pretty much whatever else you want to plug into it. It's you know it, it's modular; anything goes. Right, the uh, modulation input. What's that going to sound like? Well, what I'm going to use, I've got a, a square wave output from the 555 VCO on my project 9 modular so let's plug that into the modular at modulation input on this VCO So you can hear in the background we've still got the sequence going along there from the CV input but we've now got some crazy effects going on with the modulation. If we change the frequency of, of the modulation input that's going in there, So what happens if we take the uh, sequence of CV input out and just modulate the basic uh, LFO? Well, let's have a listen.
Yeah, lots of fun to be had by all. So there you go, the 4046 VCO little box. Um, very simple circuit. You've got all the information you need, so come on, have a go. Build your own.